Okay, let's look briefly now. Um, we've talked about the page ranking and which one comes up first, but let's look briefly at the structure or the user interface behind actually presenting a result. Um, and you'll see in the, in the video that I have of Dan that he talks a little bit about this as well, that we're, they're constantly trying to find new ways of structuring the results so that they make the most sense to you, and that no matter how hard they try, it's always very easy for people to be mistaken and not find the right result. Okay, so um, three things to pay attention to. One is the literally the structure of the result. And I want you now, you've seen the results a billion times. From now on, however, when you look at these search results, I want you to look more closely and pay attention. Also pay attention to, over time, how they change and how they manipulate them and what exactly they're showing you and what you're supposed to get out of that. That's the difference between a naive Google user and an experienced or an expert Google user is the expert Google user looks at a result and sees a lot of information in that result. An expert Google user looks at a query and says, I can do way better than just typing a bunch of words in the, in the, um, in the search box. So let's look at the structure. We have um, a title. That's the title of the page. And obviously, click on that title, go to the page. You know that. Under that, we have the full URL so that you can have an idea where did this come from. Um, is this an, from some obscure website or is this from a website that I know and trust that I've seen a bunch of times before? Um, then we have an excerpt. The excerpt is the part of that page that has your search terms in it, and those terms are bolded. Um, as I said before, your search terms are often expanded to include synonyms. So if you search for picture, it'll also look for graphics. And that word graphic is also shown in the result set, but it's shown in a dimmer form. Your search terms are, for, are shown in bold, and the dimmer form is what shows um, uh, synonyms that Google is also using. Okay, then when you mouse over, the, when you mouse over the result now, they just put this in, and I think this was a result. This was a uh, uh, this was a, um, uh, a, a response to Bing, the Microsoft search engine, who I think did this first. When you mouse over a result, it gives you a little thumbnail of the page, and I think on this thumbnail of the page is the place where you can see the cached result. I don't think they show you the cached. Remember, the cache is where they put pages when they bring them down off the web. You can see that cache that has all your words highlighted on the page and I think you get to it from this thumbnail now. You used to get to it directly from the result presentation, but now you gotta go to the thumbnail. Okay, the final thing is, in general, they're, they're clustered by type, but as I said before, Google will break those type clusterings if you want it to. If you, uh, excuse me, if it feels like different types of results, videos, images, news, uh, uh, web, regular old web pages, if it feels like they're uh, more relevant, it will mix those now. Okay, that's the result presentation. And I don't really want to go into any more detail about it than that, but I do want you to start paying attention to it and say, as an advanced Google searcher, I really pay attention to those results and they tell me stuff. They tell me a lot. I oftentimes don't have to click on the page at all because the presentation of the results tells me everything that I need to know.